standing in the Climatron at the Missouri Botanical Garden with the botany class from Maryville University. This is the day that they come in the middle of February when it's ice cold and there is nothing alive outside which makes it difficult to teach botany. But we have the Climatron here in St. Louis. And the assignment that they're given is they get a list of descriptions of plants. Um, things like, what would a dinosaur eat? And they have to come in and find the plant that matches that description. The hard part about classroom versus actually being able to put your hands on the plants or see things in the reality is that students get the misconception sometimes in the classroom that uh, everything is a neatly figured out story. And it's easy to see that when it's up on a slide and you go, well, yeah, obviously that's something a dinosaur would eat. But when you turn them loose in the Climatron with nothing but a list of descriptions, and I really let them just sort of fuss about it for about 40 minutes with almost no guidance from me, they get very frustrated because suddenly they can't see the tidy little stories that they learned in the classroom. This really pushes the students in being able to go out into nature, see plants, and start to understand their evolutionary history using their critical thinking and observation skills and really start to notice the characteristics of the plants and what those adaptations are for or are not for um, and put those stories together for themselves rather than just being fed it from a book. I think it's really cool that we could, you know, get out of an actual lab and get a chance to study things in a lot more interesting environment. You know, we, we learn all this stuff in the classroom, but it's great to actually be able to apply it and, you know, recognize, oh, we, that, that, we talked about that. Um, it's a lot harder to find the plants here, obviously, because they're everywhere and you don't know what you're looking for. Um, and in the classroom, it's kind of more direct, and she just points out exactly what she wants us to know. So we just had to kind of fend for ourselves and figure it out. Today was a perfect example of why the relationship between Maryville University and Missouri Botanical Garden is so fantastic for our students. It gives them such a rich opportunity to learn outside of the classroom and to experience the botanical world in a way that wouldn't be possible otherwise. We're grateful to Missouri Botanical Garden for the access that they give our students and for the broader education that it allows. 